Let's talk about how we got here. It all started at our nation's southern border when Governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, made the despicable decision to load migrants onto buses and ship them out to score cheap political points, treating these individuals as pawns. Since that time, the state has deployed enormous resources toward New York City's valiant efforts to shelter and support these nearly 100,000 migrants who have already arrived here. The reality is we've managed thus far without substantive support from Washington. And despite the fact that this is a national, indeed an inherently federal issue. But New York has shouldered this burden for far too long. Since the first migrants began arriving at the Port Authority bus terminal last year, city and state have poured tremendous funds, billions of dollars, and energy into helping them. The city has helped, been helping by the state to manage this in partnership with our state legislature, and in our budget we allocated over $1 billion, now upwards of $1.5 billion, for providing shelter, National Guard, public health, transit, case management, and legal services to asylum seekers, especially the housing. That's in addition to the over 200 shelters and hotels that are stood up by the city of New York with financial support from the state.